To our esteemed guests, resource speakers, organizers, and to all the stakeholders and seafarers actively participating today, on behalf of the Marina Administrator, Vice Admiral Robert A. Empedrad, let me greet all of you a pleasant morning. It is with my utmost honor and pleasure to be a part of this remarkable event that seeks guidance and consciousness to one of the most neglected issues and concerns of our maritime champions, the mental health awareness. Today, we will all together have a breather and break the stigma that comes with discussing psychological matters for our seafarers to successfully achieve a holistic, healthy well-being at sea. Discussions like these are important in building understanding of the fact that mental health issues affect people from all walks of life, men and women of all ethnicities, and from all socioeconomic backgrounds. Promoting mental health and well-being requires an understanding of cultural diversity, including respect for differences, and a willingness to learn and acceptance of different ways of viewing the world. In recent years, there has been increasing acknowledgement of the important role mental health plays in achieving global development goals, as illustrated by the inclusion of mental health in the Sustainable Development Goals according to the World Health Organization. Depression is one of the leading causes of disability. As a seafarer, being away from family and friends may mean that you're less likely to talk about a low mood or feelings of unhappiness compared with someone ashore who sees their loved ones every day. Many ships have gyms or exercise equipment and many companies encourage healthy eating and lifestyle choices to keep seafarers physically healthy. However, this is often not the case when it's our mood or morale that's low and our discomfort is psychological rather than physical. Mainly, seafarers are vulnerable to mental health issues and this is compounded with isolation, fatigue and stress due to the catastrophe brought by the pandemic. Declared as key workers by the International Maritime Organization or the IMO, Filipinos represent 25% of 1.5 million mariners worldwide. A 2019 mental health study conducted by the Yale University shows that 35% of seafarers asked nobody for help when they felt down or depressed or were screened for having depression. Meanwhile, 25% were screened as positive for anxiety and depression and 11% of seafarers from the Pacific region, particularly from the Philippines, were four times as likely to report workplace violence compared to those from Western Europe. COVID-19 has had many implications for life on ship, and while the crew change crisis drew most headlines, the need to ensure better hygiene on board has meant significantly extra work for crews, such as washing, scrubbing, and relentless laundry demands. The list of manual labor requirements grew, and this was not universally matched by an increase in resources. We shall examine the problems, the things that are worsening, the issues which should be monitored, and the areas where seafarers are feeling positive. It is hoped that this in-depth approach will enable a more detailed insight into the impact that COVID-19 is having on specific aspects of seafarers' lives at what has arguably been the most challenging time for seafarers in a generation or more. The main shout-outs from the second quarter of 2021 of the Seafarers Happiness Index rested on three core concerns and at their core are growing restlessness, boredom, weariness, and the pressure of not knowing when or if the seafarers will get back home. The Seafarers Happiness Index is the shipping industry's ongoing barometer of the key issues facing those at sea today. Seafarers are asked 10 key questions every quarter, sharing their views about specific issues affecting their life and work. The average score across the 10 questions revealed happiness levels of seafarers 
for the second quarter of 2021 at 5.99 out of 10, a steep and concerning drop from 6.46 in the first quarter. The data fell in every category and there were clear indications that the ongoing issues relating to crew travel, uncertainty over leave, and an almost complete and universal ban on shore leave are taking a negative toll on seafarers. The mental impact of long periods at sea in the same environment is creating huge spikes in negativity and tension at sea. Work at sea is in danger of becoming less meaningful as seafarers have lost the excitement of going home or ashore. Without shore leave, crews never have a break and never escape the ship. And it is not surprising that we are seeing a mental health crisis. And it is vital that we pay attention to our mental health because it affects how we think, feel, and act. We don't often deliberately make time for and put effort into doing things that make us feel good or bring us peace, contentment, calm, fun, happiness, enjoyment, and so on. However, there is an urgent need to address things to lessen, if not eliminate, mental health illness. Evidence suggests that actively and intentionally making time to engage in things we like to do can have a real and positive impact on our well-being. We make our emotional well-being and mental health a priority. Here are some ways. Number one, do more of what makes you happy. When we feel good, we have the energy to do all kinds of things. But when we are busy, and especially when we are feeling stressed or low, we forget to do the things that make us happy. We lose motivation to do things, and very quickly, we lose the enthusiasm to continue the things that we have started. What do you love to do? You can do sports, painting, drawing, singing, dancing, reading, solving mental puzzles, or just anything to keep your mind busy of the good stuff and taking time off from the things that overwhelm you. Second, keep a physically fit body and a healthy lifestyle. All seafarers understand that remaining fit and healthy is essential for their career at sea, but it is also important for our psychological well-being. Three areas that we can focus on to become fitter and maintain a healthy body are exercising regularly, a well-balanced diet, and ensuring to get enough rest and quality sleep. Fatigue has been recognized as a significant problem for seafarers, and a recent report is spurring the industry into action. It is important to be aware that seafarers are entitled to proper rest periods a minimum of 10 hours in a 24-hour period. Third, enhance your sense of belonging to your community. Have a regular, hearty conversation with your friends and family. Just connect. Talking openly with loved ones back home about any difficulties you're experiencing may help you see your options more clearly and may also help to strengthen your relationships. Develop your relationships with friends and family, colleagues and neighbors, as these connections support you and will enrich your life. Visit the health center and discuss concerns with the health professional. If the health professional advises treatment, follow instructions. Watch out for side effects and attend follow-up appointments to assess improvement. Communal activities are a good way to increase social interaction, such as social events, movie nights, shared cultural celebrations, and religious feasts. Fourth, learn new things. Try something new or rediscover an old interest or take on a new responsibility or challenge. Learning inspires confidence. Be aware of the world around you and see the beauty in everyday and unusual things. Reflect on them to appreciate what matters to you. Everyone experiences mental health issues at some point in their lives, and it is vital not to underestimate the importance of urgently addressing it before things get worse. Everything in our lives has an impact on our mental state, and we are not alone in this. We need our families, friends, confidence, and anyone that may serve as our support system. We must feed our brain with good thoughts, positive vibes, and peaceful things that help us in maintaining a healthy mind. 
Working on the front lines of the COVID-19 outbreak can be stressful and difficult, and it is normal to feel overwhelmed and frustrated. While positive emotions, good relationships, and doing well in our work or our hobbies are all key elements of our psychological well-being, we also need to find meaning and purpose in life. Practicing your faith, both alone and with others, is important. It can be more difficult to practice your faith if you are at sea, but look for opportunities to do so. Take time to keep connected to your faith, to the God you worship, go to services when you can, spend time alone in prayer or meditation. Until mental health education is a mandatory aspect of the maritime sector, crews, seafarers, and marine officers can work hard to promote awareness within the industry. Key elements to shine a light on include the concept of self-care and responsibility for one's own mental health and wellness, with an emphasis on the fact that mental health is an integral part of health and the concept of recovery from mental illness. There is no shame in seeking help. Mental health awareness is now coming front and center. Let us embrace the idea that it is okay to face mental health challenges and that we need to see the value being placed on this topic to alter the attitude everyone has about the stigma it entails. Having positive mental health allows you to effectively deal with the daily stressors of life, communicate well with others, make healthy decisions, and live life to its fullest. Let us maintain our psychological well-being to live a happy, peaceful, and abundant life at sea. Once again, maraming salamat at mabuhay ang mga marinong Pilipino.